Okay, we're just gonna call this one ankle pumping or dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, but with optimal kind of alignment, cueing for the alignment. We're trying to get that posterior tib involved in this plantar flexion, dorsiflexion action. So here's, here's the cue. So I'm gonna set up, this is gonna be in what we call open, open chain. So you're not pushing on the ground, you're not gonna be on the ground and weight bearing, you're gonna be moving that foot freely back and forth. Here's the cue though, it is gonna be moving from that ball of the big toe. So that first metatarsal head, ball of the big toe, this is your point of emphasis right here. This is where you're, what you're thinking about trying to move. When I go down, I'll give you this view first. When I point down, I'm thinking lead with that ball of the big toe. When I pull back, I'm thinking lead with that ball of the big toe. What that equates to is that as I go down, sorry, changing all around here, as I go down, that big toe kind of gets farther, a little farther than the pinky side of my foot. So as I'm pushing down, I'm still trying to stay straight from my view. My foot's in line with my shin from my view. You can't see that well from your view, but from my view, my foot's in line with my shin, but I'm leading big toe, leading ball to big toe. When I pull back, same thing, I'm leading ball to big toe. So now in this case, ball to big toe gets a little bit, is a little closer to my, say, knee than the pinky side. So ball to big toe is farther than my pinky side, ball to big toe is nearer than my pinky side. Again, back from this view here, lower that a hair. All right, camera work on the fly. So I was talking about, I was like, this shin stays straight with my foot. I lead ball the big toe going down, pointing. I lead ball the big toe pulling back. But from your view, my foot stays straight up the whole time. Straight, straight, not getting out to the side as you're doing that. All right, ankle pumping, leading with the ball the big toe.